Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What is going on, brothers and sisters? It is Daniel here, and we are back here again today. Alhamdulillah. Today, I had to do it. I have to do it. This is Pierce Morgan with Rabbi, 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 yeah, that's how you say it, Rabbi Shmuley and Muhammad Hijab. This is just going to be an absolute banger, inshallah. I'm almost positive this is going to get heated. This is going to get intense, probably a lot of, uh, a lot of fire, a lot of passion here. I'm expecting, I got to give out, I got to give props to Pierce Morgan for hosting, uh, you know, Muhammad Hijab and Bassem Yusuf and, and all of these other Muslim speakers to talk about this, this conflict, you know, even though he has his biases even though he interrupts sometimes. Um, I don't see any bigger platform giving a voice to these kinds of people. Um, so yeah, uh, may, may Allah accept these deeds from Mr. Peace Morgan and may Allah give him guidance as well. So let's check out this video. It's going to be crazy. It's like over an hour long. I don't know how much of this I'll watch, um, but let's see. Let's, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Tonight on Piers Morgan Uncensored, Israel at war, the uncensored debate. Mohammed Hijab is a Muslim philosopher, scholar and YouTuber whose first appearance on the show was viewed by more than 8 million people. Rabbi Shmuley Botiak has been called the most famous rabbi in America, he is the international best-selling author of Kosher Hate and The Israel Warrior. Both men are passionate, both men are influential and they both have vehemently opposing views. Tonight, they go uncensored and head to head. We're bringing together two in a boxing very match, passionate, influential no. people, very opposing views. That's what we want to see. Debate, and we're going to see if somewhere there is perhaps more that we can agree on than we first imagined. So, thank you for joining me, gentlemen. We tossed a coin before we came on air tonight, and uh, actually, you won the the, the toss, um, and you said you want to go second. I so, defer to my my brother. And the way this will work, uh, Muhammad, we have four sections of this debate. And at the start of each one, you'll both get one minute uninterrupted to say what you want to say about each of the themed uh, titles of each yeah. book. So you go uninterrupted. First. At the end of your minute, yeah, right. you'll hear a sound. And when you hear that, Let's see how long uh, that you lasts. end. And then a rabbi should really guess his <clears throat> chance to speak. So the first theme is a simple one. Are Hamas to blame? You have a minute, Mohammed, from now. From one perspective, Hamas started the battle because uh, obviously from October 7th, even they themselves title it Tufan al-Aqsa or the flooding of al-Aqsa. But from another perspective, if you really look at it from an international law perspective, we're talking about 1967, we're talking about Resolution Security Resolution 242, in which it is actually stated that um, Israel is in a belligerent state because they're occupying the West Bank, East Jerusalem and Gaza. And they have been, so therefore the war has been continual for a very long time according to international law. But let's remove Hamas from the situation altogether. Let's remove them. What do you have? You have the West Bank. And what do you have in the West Bank? You have 187 children who have been put in prisons. They have been put in prisons, according to Bet Salem, without charge. You have 44 children before October the 7th that have been killed before October the 7th in just 2023 alone. So if you remove Hamas from the equation, what you have, you have the West Bank. You, you remove dominance from the equation, you have the West Bank. And what you have, you have occupation, you have settlement, which you condemned, rightfully so. You condemned that on your show. The settlement's there. Okay. What is the rabbi going to say to that one? Rabbi Shmuley, one minute's response. Shmuley. Resolution 242 in the UN doesn't mention a single thing about aggre aggression or aggressor. That is a total fabrication, and it speaks about disputed territories. But let's be clear. The occupier of Gaza is Hamas. They won an election. It's funny how the, uh, the you know, Hebrew speakers, they pronounce it Hamas. But I think it's Hamas. But they don't have that letter, I think. 2006, had a civil war Hamas. with Mahmoud Abbas, took the Palestinian Authority officials, threw them off buildings, killed Muslims, killed Arabs. Mahmoud Abbas 
is afraid to go to Gaza. He's terrified of Hamas. He hasn't been there since 2007. And let's be clear, Hamas is an abomination to Islam. Sultan Salah al-Adin, the greatest Muslim conqueror of all time, after whom the main artery in, in Gaza is named, he said that you have to allow all prisoners to be redeemed. He would never hold hostages. This is, and remember, the Islam is about fair treatment of prisoners of war. Hamas beheaded Thai non-Jewish workers. You asked in your last opinion, Appearance here for real uh, first-hand sources. I'm the first-hand source. I saw it in Kibbutz Alumim. They raped women. They had sex with dead women's okay. bodies. They are evil and do the right and call time's them up, evil. Up, All up. right, we've had a minute each. Okay, we've got there. a passionate start. Mohammed, let me ask you about Hamas. I want to first, before you do that, I want to commend you, Piers, mm -hmm. honestly, because bringing me on for the second time, I have to commend you. And the fact that no, you he, mentioned, he mentioned the Thai supposedly killing Thai people. I actually live in thailand and what i've seen from most people the mainstream thai citizen here it seems as if they support israel and i think the reason is is that actually supposedly some number of the hostages that hamas has taken are actually thai workers thai people from thailand that have moved to israel to, for work, ended up getting um, taken hostage by Hamas. This is the story. Whether or not they've been beheaded, I'm not sure there's any proof of that. I haven't seen any headlines about that here in Thailand. Um, only only news about the fact that there are hostages. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Actually, condemn the settlements is very good, but people want to know: Do you think the IDF are a terrorist organization? Uh, no. You don't think that they're terrorist don't, Okay, no. well, if you look at the UN definition of terrorist organization, they say killing civilians for political reasons. So you're asking my opinion. No, but if, I, if I the UN definition, the, according to the UN definition, it's killing civilians for political objectives. Mm. Why are they not terrorist organizations? Well, it's, it, well, you've asked me a straight question. I don't yes. think they are a terror organization. So when you see babies like this, the ones, who kill, the ones who kill babies like this are not terrorists. It's horrific. So the people can who I, kill can babies can like this are not terrorists. Well, let me, let me respond. <laughs> yes. Let me respond. We'll, yeah. we'll both, it's not your turn. You can both get into this. Here's my response to that. And I've thought carefully about this. I'll be very honest about my own feelings. I, I have a real moral quandary about this because as a father, I, I hate these scenes of kids being killed in Gaza. It's horrific, right? We all know it's horrific. But are they a terrorist organisation, well, though? I'm, I'm about to explain to you what I think my position is. My position is after what happened on October the 7th, it was so barbaric, so disgusting. So you can kill children? Well, no, what you can do... That's exactly what terrorists say, by the way. Let me answer your this question. Is, this is not a exactly this, is, this is someone else becoming the host of the show you put it down. and now interviews you. I, I, I thought you're have we were being interviewed. You're going to have your chance. Mohamed, you and I are being interviewed. You're not here to interview him. You're going to have your chance. Mohamed, you can put it down. That is what I said. One minute uninterrupted. This is what happened tonight. All right, rubbish. Let me ask Please have respect for the... No, no, no. Stop interviewing the interviewer and be respectful. And be respectful. Let me respond. Tell me, is it a terrorist organization or not? No. Why not? I do not believe so. They I'm kill not... civilians for political You have objectives. to let me answer. Go ahead. Okay. Here's my answer to that. When Hamas did what they did, two things. One, Hamas knew exactly what Israel's response would be. They knew they would come incredibly hard back. I don't them. absolve them. Wait, wait a minute. I'm not absolving anybody. I'm, I'm, not, just... absol I'm not absolving them. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying the West Bank is Hamas. I know. Hamas. I know. Hamas. Let me, you have to let me answer. You've you got four children killed like this in the West Bank. This is ridiculous. Wait a minute, rubbish. Really. Let me just ask you quickly. Go ahead. I believe Israel has a right to defend itself from after that terror but attack. But can they kill children? Wait a minute. Can they? Wait a minute. Particularly after the Hamas spokesman only last week said if they want to do this again and again and again. That's an existential threat to Israel. Which Why don't they fight them man to man? Man to man. Fight them man to man. Why do you have to kill children? Wait a minute. Let me Why answer. do you have to kill children? Let me kill answer you, Mohammed. Why? Let me answer you. Of a ratio of 100 to 1, by let the way. Let me answer you. 100 to 1 ratio. Let me answer you. Go ahead. Otherwise, it's pointless. Go ahead. So, I agree that Israel must defend itself. I agree they have to get rid of Hamas because Hamas is wedded to an ideology of existentially removing is Israel. Is this acceptable? Wait a minute. I'm coming to your answer. Is this answer. acceptable? I'm coming to your answer. This is not, this is not, this is not. No, no, this, no, wait, this is not even, this wait is a not even a conversation. Wait a minute. Sorry. Listen, me, I came all the way from the United States for this debate. Let me finish. And he will not let anyone let me, else speak. Let and me if that's finish. how these shows time. work, guys. Mooley's got the loudest rude, voice. You are a bully. He's loud. You are trying to interrupt people. I'm going to have a chance to speak or there's no point in doing this show. He did this last time and you allowed him to, but I won't allow him to because I will never be bullied by a bully. At the moment, let me be clear. No one, wait a minute. 
Okay, no one's allowing me to answer your question. Go ahead, sir. And it's this. Go ahead. I believe Israel has a right to defend itself. Okay. I agree that they need to get rid of Hamas. But in this are, way? Who are terror groups. In this way? Well, I, here's the quandary for me morally, right? Why here's is that a quandary, though? I'll tell you why. With Hamas, it's not a quandary, I'll but tell with you why. A country. Because in war, in war, when you declare war, as Britain did with the Nazis... 100 to 1 ratio. No, no. 100 to 1. There are Combatant a, to non combatant ratio. There are a far higher number of children in Gaza, proportionate to population, than almost anywhere in the P world. Piers, so when P they Piers, go after give Hamas, me a give me a chance. Very no, no, sadly, Piers, 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 very, Piers, Piers, Mohammed, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me no, 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 no. Very sadly, you have done it. You are the one who insisted. Piers Morgan is justifying the deaths of the Palestinian children there. Plain and simple. I never did, Rabbi but you will Shmuley, not respect the I will come to you He's literally in 30 you seconds. He's going to ask you a question. In 30 seconds, I'll come to you. He's going to come to you afterwards. Let me finish, please. I am Calm in charge down. here, Mohammed. So my final point on this is, unfortunately, in war, civilians get killed. 100 to 1 ratio. 100 to 1 ratio. Yes. 100 to 1 ratio. Yes, they get killed. No, no, not 100 to 1 ratio. It's not civilians an acceptable ratio. get killed. It appears this is... Really, in you come. You know, you know, Piers, can I say respectfully, and I mean this as no insult, I'm amazed that you're intimidated by this man. I feel, he, I feel, well, with all due respect, if I can speak, 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 I wouldn't bring him back if I can speak, if I can speak, if I can speak. And he raises a very valid question, by the way. No, he does not, because I have, I have, before he did this debate, he went on X on Twitter and said, I'm only doing it if there's equal time. And then he is violating that. I never asked for equal time. I just want to be heard. But he won't even let me be heard. Let me explain something to you. You said in a, in a video the other day, and you can look me in the eye, you said that Jews are now trembling. I Muhammad, I am I not, no, 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 don't interrupt me. I, I am not I trembling. It's all on my, it's all my Instagram page. Don't now, don't you lie. see this yarmulke? It means that I represent something. I'm an ambassador. You're, You're an ambassador of Islam. You are talking about a religion that started what? the world's first universities, educated women. <laughs> Fatima started the first first university in the, in the ninth century in Fez, Morocco. Irrelevant. Now we have a man who says that he's a representative of Islam. He's meant to be speaking he to goes, you, right? He speaking goes to... to Speaker's Corner. He speaks about whether five-year-old girls are old enough for sex. He says that gay men ha are dying of What's AIDS as a, as a punishment from God. No, and I'm sorry I've to say this that. to the, to the listeners, that. That. that blood is gushing from their backsides. Right. They're better off. The, you know what Where's, it is? Never because that. you never are desecrating a great right, right, religion. Right, right, right. Now, let me tell you no, why. No. Let me tell you why it appeal, why, right. why it's here. Because he will bring defend it back to the I will. I will. He will defend Hamas's butchery. Running away. Savagery. Running away. He doesn't care that Hamas away. Is, an, is an abomination away. to Islam because... Running away. Because Islam... But he hasn't the, done the, that. The children in Gaza are dying because Hamas uses them as bullet... Human shields. Best. Okay. The United oh. States and France okay. yeah, and England it. said yesterday that the Al-Shifa hospital is a military base. Okay. And it's a tiny veneer. Let him have his minute. And it's a tiny veneer of, of emergency rooms. Okay. Oh, a minute. But the, underneath all of it is a military base. You have a minute. And let me tell speak. you something. If it's true... That any of these countries care about the Muslims in Gaza because they believe what he's saying that Israel's killing them. This is a map of all the countries that took place last week in, in Riyadh to save the Palestinians of Gaza from Israel. Do you know how many? That's Israel, a tiny thing. You know how many of them took in even one Palestinian from Gaza? Zero, nothing. All right. Look at that let map. Me, let me, because they so want pointing, to, so the pointing. Arabs let want pointing. to see, right, no, I'm pointing pointing. Pointing. Uh, the Hang Arabs on, want so to see pointing. Hamas. So pointing, so don't pointing. intimidate me, don't bully okay. me. Okay. Thank okay. You. Let me ask don't you. intimidate so me, I'm not afraid of you. Guys, I've got a better ask questions, it's a debate. Let's come back. Let me ask you one specific question which he raised, which I don't think actually is your belief. I don't think you have defended what Hamas did on October the 7th. Yeah, I haven't. I think you share our view. Unless I'm wrong. So what was Rabbi Shmuley just promote uh, proposing there he's proposing that all of the civilians of palestine should be kicked out of where they live and then israel can can basically carpet bomb gaza kill all of hamas and then they're gonna let the palestinian people back is that what he's proposing? That's absurd. Evil? About this are they evil? Stop speaking. Are they Is it evil? me or him? I'm are they evil? Stop Rabbi Shmuley, it's Hamas evil. You're now doing what you accuse him of doing. Stop so speaking. Let me ask you, what is your view of Hamas post October 7th? I think that they, just like anybody else, have to be examined, have to, have, have to look at all the... What's your the opinion about them? Yeah, I think that... If, look, here's my opinion. Let me be straightforward about this, right? Anybody who kills civilians, mm -hmm. anybody, whether it's the IDF, I'm consistent in this manner. If, if, if it's proven with un, beyond reasonable doubt, that these people oh, I'm have killed sorry. I just realized this video is a little too high. That's my fault.
billions in both of our faith traditions, in Islam and Judaism, in the Quran is mentioned, in the Prophet, he said it himself, you cannot kill a woman, you cannot kill a child. I condemn them. I condemn them. That's what I do. Straight away, whether he's Muslim, whether he's non-Muslim, whether he's Christian or anybody else. I've already said that. So I'm not being inconsistent here. My question is, if that is exactly the barometer that we're using, if that's the moral reasoning that we're using, then we have to say, look, if you have a 100 to 1 ratio, and that's what it is, a 100 okay. to 1 ratio. And you know how I got this figure? I got this figure from the IDF themselves because they have reported okay, to them. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Does Hamas deserve to stay in power after what they did? I don't think we should have Hamas in power. What I think we should... Okay. No, let so, me tell you. So we should have... How a do you Palestine, get rid of them? We should have a Palestinian authority with bigger armies okay. and airports, okay. with proper tanks and with uh, 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 airplanes like every country in you the world. You know what? You might be right. But Absolutely. They how, won't allow it. How do you get the Israelis of, won't allow that. How do you get rid of Hamas? What you don't do, I can tell you for a fact, is try and kill 30,000 of them with a 100 to 1 ratio. Because if you do that, then you're committing genocide because you'd have to kill 3 million Palestinians. Rabbi Shmueli? Do you know even do you even know the definition of genocide? What's I haven't said genocide. What's it? You just said it. You no, just I said, no, you just I said, said it. if you... What is the definition of genocide? What's said the said definition? What is, I said if you do You always claim to be an academic. You're always carrying your Oxford conditional. credentials. What is the definition all right. of conditional. 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 You said conditional. Genocide. Genocide is where... Genocide is where... You'll be genocidal. Genocide is where... I didn't accuse. Let him speak. You target an ethnicity for extinction. Geno, ethnicity, side, murder. Yes, if you do it. Yeah, if you kill three million now, Palestinians, now, now, now. are you genocide there or are one not? Point, if you kill three million one, Palestinians, are you genocide there are or one not? Point, Don't speak over each other. There are 1.8 million What's the Muslim What's the Arabs to who live in total peace in Israel as equal citizens. In fact, Israel practice reverse discrimination against the Jews because the Jews are conscripted to, to fight question? Hamas. So... If would you, Israel, would you, excuse okay. me, no, you will not interrupt me. Stop, if Israel, you will not interrupt me. You will not interrupt me. You will not interrupt me. You will not bully me. You will not interrupt yeah, me. I am not afraid of you. Right, stop stop saying that you stop tremble. Shaking. Now, let no, me stop be clear. Shaking. Let me be clear. Well, Jeez, now, let me Louise. Well, then, let, then you need to control your guests with all due respect. Okay, he said, he said equal time and there's no equal time. Now, there's no equal time. If Israel was interested in a genocide of the Palestinians, why do they have 1.8 million equal Arab Muslim citizens who are in the Israeli Supreme Court, who are one third of the medical exactly. profession? Do you, know that, do, you know, that, do you know that an Arab, pre, an Arab judge put the president of Israel in jail for accused rape? That was Moshe Katsav. That's how little Israel is an apartheid state, genocidal state. This man sitting next to me, Mohammed Hijab, will not distinguish between self-defense when Hamas comes to brutalize okay. and murder your people versus when an army okay. Okay. like Britain, right. like France, Stops oh, right, retaliate to, to simply the, protect can we go back their the I have You to say, don't believe the Jews should have a right to defend Rabbi themselves. Say, say it outright then, then say it. The, the Jews, Jews have a right to defend themselves. They do. Yes, they do. So of that's why we have right. to go Everybody has a right to defend so that's themselves. That's why we have to go to Gaza to stop Hamas. Yes, they can go to Gaza and stop Hamas. But. No, they Rabbi can't go in, but don't. No, hey, hold on. Let me tell you my position. Let me tell you my position. So they can go in. Thank you. Ask the question. Go ahead. Answer it. Yes, they can go into even fight. Even Abu Ubaidah, the, the general of Hamas, he said, Nahnu fin in Arabic. We are waiting for you. Mm. That's why he's okay. being said. Hold on. You've asked me a question. Go ahead. They do have a right. What, my what I've been advocating all along is face to face confrontation. What I'm against, hold on, excuse me. What I'm against is a 100 to 1 ratio, because if you have right. 100... Let me finish. Come to Mr. Block no, if you, if you, let me, All right. Well, okay, fine. Hamas is fine. hiding under hospitals. Okay. What face-to-face -face confrontation? Rabbi, Hamas is Rabbi shooting Shmuley. children face -face. who are going to sell. I'm okay with face-to-face -face confrontation. Two is I like it. Block 2 is it's exactly... The, it's the honourable way. Block 2 is exactly this question. Go ahead, let's go. My only observation, he hasn't had Rabbi Shmuley, so far, you're being more personal and ad hominem than he is. With all right. due respect, I think that's extremely unfair. Because well, every time I say anything, no, listen. And you keep, Muhammad, you keep answering if, for him. If, and if, if, Muhammad, if Muhammad, when you actually ask him questions, because he, he gives you straight answer. answers. If Muhammad, if Muhammad, Muhammad answers. job wants to be re a representative and ambassador of Islam, then he has to take responsibility for his position. I don't want to be any of that. He actually said that yeah, Islam I'll, I'll believes myself. in death. We, we are, you're okay. not going to beat us because we want to die. We're right. prepared to lose thousands of people. Is Islam really a religion of death? We're taking a poor ambassador of faith. You believe in martyrdom. Of course I do. You want to be a martyr? Yeah, absolutely. You want to die Martyr, fighting you know, the Jews? I didn't say Jews. Who said Jews? Okay, Mar do you, know you want to be a martyr where? What, what is it? What is it? Yes. Yes. The pro martyr means someone who dies for Muhammad his told us, Man qutila duna malihi fahuwa shaheed. Whoever dies defending themselves, defending their wealth, is, is, a, is a martyr. No.
Are you? Do you want to excuse die? Me, excuse me. Defending excuse Islam, me. But do you want Islam this, to be this a religion child, of peace? Excuse, excuse, religion hold on, hold on. This child for us is a martyr. You're right. Do you agree or not? Because, because, because agree or not? Hamas is using him as a human is, shield. Really? He is. A, yes. Just Hamas like is you, okay, hiding okay, behind okay. him. Let's Correct. go to the next section. Condemn right, Hamas. Let's go. All right. Let's time out. Really, come on, man. This let's try and my time. Try not to talk over each other because the viewers can't hear it. Right. Let's go. I don't mind the passion. Sure. I don't mind the debate. I don't mind the fire. I yeah. do mind if we can't hear what you're saying. It's pointless. Yeah, let's do the minute. Let's thing. go to the second, the second topic, right? This time, Has he had his minute, by Rabbi way? Shmuley, you will go first with a minute to say what you want to say, and then Muhammad, no, the, uh, Hijab, the question, you'll get yours. Please? So the theme is this, and the question is this for Block Two: Has Israel gone too far mm-hmm. in its response to the October the seventh terror attacks? Okay, Rabbi Shmuley, you have a minute. Starting now. I just came here by taxi and passed a statue of Winston Churchill. That's in the lifetime of our parents, okay? He is the greatest British statesman of the 20th century. You know what he did when he had a genocidal threat, knowing that Hitler wanted to eviscerate, annihilate Britain? He carpet bombed all of Germany, Dresden, Essen, um, uh, Hamburg. Israel has not even gotten close to that. Israel does not send its air force to carpet bomb cities. It sends in its military. I have a friend who died, six, six children, 39, because he was... Tw- I thought Israel did carpet bomb. Already. Personally trying to stop a Hamas terror tunnel. Israel is surgical. Israel is go- only going after the fighters. Israel has opened humanitarian corridors for the, for the Palestinians to go south. Hamas shoots them and makes sure they don't go. Hamas builds its military structure. Surgical? How how dare he claim is Israel has been surgical? I mean, open up open up Twitter for ten minutes, and you will just see unspeakable things that in no way could they ever be a result of Israel being surgical. Like what? Like I wonder what the real statistics are. I think maybe Hijab is is claiming to know them, but like, how many children have died compared to Hamas fighters? It's got to be more children. It's got to be. Maybe it's close, but it shouldn't even be close. Right, Shifa Hospital is this much hospital, and it's this much military. They love using Palestinians. And that's why they've stolen their money. They got, they got about $16 billion from the international community. There isn't one bomb shelter in, in Gaza. They don't care about the, the okay. civilians at okay. all. Israel's doing the right thing. Mohammed, Hamas. you have a minute. What I'm saying is the 100, 100 to 1 ratio comes from the following figures. We know that 10,000 civilians have died. Of them, uh, according to the IDF, as reported by The Guardian, 60, dozens, they say, about 60, uh, Hamas died which we're being liberal by saying 100 to 1 figures. For every one Hamas, you have to kill 100 civilians. That's effectively what we're saying. If the trajectory continues as it is, if the trajectory continues as it is, then you have to kill 3 million Palestinian civilians in order to kill 30,000 Hamas fighters. If you want to extinguish them, eviscerate them, annihilate them, destroy them, you have to do that. Now you have Herzog, who is the president that you, uh, you interviewed, saying that all Palestinians... They are responsible. This man is being more slippery. He's being more slippery than the lubricants that he sells in his daughter's sex shop. And that's the reality (laughs) of the situation. Did you really just say that? You know, you seem obsessed with Jewish sex. It's bizarre. Yesterday, you actually spoke about Ben Shapiro's wife. You actually, you you said to Ben Shapiro. Rabbi Shmuley has written a book about sex like kosher sex i think it's called oh, yes, your wife's a carrot well you're more of a kosher. man is that what you're trying to yes, say right. then you said that jews have bdsm we, you're speaking about no, no, sexual get it, lubricants while people are dying you know muhammad get your head out of the jewish bedroom it's- that is pretty embarrassing though if his daughter sells sexual lubricants in it or if his daughter has a sex shop i guess i guess maybe not i mean that's technically halal it's still kind of embarrassing. <laughs> really bizarre. Can let we get be, it? Can no, we get let it? Me, let me anyway. be clear. No, no. Sexual lubricants? How embarrassing. Can we, we sell dildos? Listen, listen, can we get it back? Sell dildos. Can we get it back? Oh, no. Don't speak about five-year-old girls being no, ready no, for no, sex. Come on. Let's go back to the issue. Let's go back to the issue. Let's go back to the issue. Let me ask a question. Why are you shaking? I've got five minutes in your pocket. Come on. 
it's a serious debate. I think he's got one of his daughters that vibrates Mom, in no, Come spot. on, leave him, please. Does. You are no, just it's humiliating yourself. We're going to cut all this stuff, the we'll cut yeah. all this stuff yeah. out. So there's no point. Why? You Why can, leave it? People should uncensored. see what uncensored. he represents. There's no it point is uncensored. abusing each other personally. Oh, no, okay, Pierce, Pierce, Pierce. I want to stick to the debate. Let's get to the debate. You don't want to do it. We'll end the debate. Let's get to the debate. Let me let me ask Mohammed a question. Right. I don't disagree with you that so far it seems to me yes. obviously yes. A, a, a fact that many, many more Palestinian civilians, innocent people, are getting killed as retribution by the Israelis for what happened on October the 7th. That's indisputable, right? Their argument is that they're going after a terror organization, Hamas, and unfortunately in war, as Rabbi Shmuley correctly said about what Churchill did in World War II. Churchill was wrong. A lot of se- Churchill was wrong. Was okay. he a war criminal? Y- yes, he was. Right. Yes, he was. Churchill was a war criminal. Yes, he was. Well, Churchill all, was a war criminal. All the British Let me do this. Churchill was a war criminal. Okay. Yes, he was. And George VI was George VI yeah, war criminal. All of them were criminals. Uh, really? Like, like criminal. all of them. Yes, of course. So anyone so his hang on, hang yes, on. Uh, Rabbi Shmuley. War criminal. Let me ask. So let me get this straight. Absolutely. Collective punishment. You think Winston Churchill was a war criminal? In standing up to the Nazis. By killing the babies. Who killed 12 million people. I believe he was a war criminal. By doing what he did was a war criminal. By killing in Dresden and Hamburg. But by, by, by uh, the indiscriminate killing, collective punishment. My morality says that's impossible. Okay, that means the British people who that's supported impossible. him Can't and kill voted him in. They were My also, morality says that's just impossible. A second, just a second. That's why I but believe. The British yes. people. Yeah. You believe he was a war criminal? Yes. So, so therefore, you, your belief is that no retaliatory action. No, by you any can retaliate to the man, not to the babies. Tell me a war in history. Yes. Where civilians haven't been killed. No, oh, I'm not saying civilians haven't been killed. It's Just about this ratio. Or it's otherwise. about the ratio. It's no, about no. the ratio. What is the ratio? What's the ratio? 100 to 1 is unacceptable. Actually, what morally, is the ratio? 100 to 1 is unacceptable. Actually, morally, 100 to 1 is unacceptable. Okay, well, 100 to 1 is unacceptable. Hang on, Rabbi Shmuley. So let me give you a ratio. Yeah. How many people did the Nazis kill? I don't know. You don't know. We know, six, mi- we, know, we know they killed 6 million Jews. They killed 12 million people. I don't know. So we don't know. Including no, 6 million Jews. Sure. Right? Sure. So 12 million, 12 million how, many died in, how many died in Dresden? How many civilians died in Germany? Do you know? I don't know exactly. Right. So you don't actually know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about because you I know in, in Dresden Churchill, and Hamburg. You said it's about. Kid, you, unless I'm wrong. Yeah, go ahead. Unless I'm wrong. Yeah, go ahead. You said it's to do with the. Ratios. The ratios. Yes. But you don't know the ratios. When no, you call, no, I know for a fact. You call Winston Churchill a criminal. What are the numbers? What are the numbers? Wait a minute, Rabbi Shmuley. When you call Winston Churchill a criminal, you're basing it on ratios. You don't even know what they are. No, I know for no. We, uh, there's difference of opinion among the, uh, the scholars. No, there isn't. There is difference. Say, there tell is. us the opinions. What, what are they? Tell, tell us. Tell us what they are. Oh, hold on. There's of how many in Dresden? Oh, excuse me. Stop speaking. How many in Dresden? Am I speaking to more? How many in Dresden? Whatever the number. You don't know. If it's indiscriminate, I'm against it. No, he doesn't. That's my point. Dresden's about twenty-five thousand. And uh, at the time, the, uh, the Germans were saying 250,000. We know it's about 25,000 today. Let me, be, let me be clear. Winston Churchill was the greatest statesman of the 20th century. That's he saved opinion. the world from I agree. Nazi terror. Yeah. That you could live in a country that is only around today because of the bravery of that man showing no gratitude is the height of... Stick on topic. Stick on topic. Stick on topic. to call all the British people who defeated the Nazis... Stick on topic. Stick on topic. Stick on topic. Stop interrupting me. Stick on topic. defeated the Nazis, war criminals, his parents, all the other people who were criminals... Let me ask Rabbi Shmuley a question. No, no, no. Let me be clear. Off topic. Off topic. Don't interrupt each other. Let me be clear. Muhammad Hijab trades in falsehoods. 300 to 1? What are you talking 100 about? 100 to 1. And now he says, that the, now he says the Jews are about to kill 3 million people. I didn't say they're about to. I said the if. fact that this man considers you, you himself an Oxford academic. I was the rabbi at Oxford University for 11 years. This Did is a travesty. From there? Did you graduate from there? This is a travesty. Right, let me ask you a question, Did you graduate from any university? Did you graduate from any university? I have a rabbinical Did you graduate? I, let me answer. You're excommunicated. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. I saw you excommunicated from the rabbis. I am a rabbinical university. Can I speak? This is pointless. Go on, go on. Rabbi Shmuley, is there a limit to the number of civilians in Gaza that Israel can kill to try and That's eliminate Hamas? That's a good question. Hamas? That's a great question. Yes, there is. What's Thank the limit? you. Let me ask you. Not even one, not one beautiful Palestinian child should have to die because Hamas kicked out Mahmoud Abbas. That wasn't Abbas. my question. And, yeah, and not one should have to die. What, what, what the answer to your question is that Hamas, if they surrender unconditionally... Then Which they're not going to do. Okay, fine. But is let there them, a limit? Then let, them, let them allow all the civilians. But is there Israel, a limit? Israel said that all the civilians can leave. All the civilians should go south. They begged them. And that's something that militaries never do. Churchill did not tell the people in Dresden, come on, and, and. You, no, see, no, you, put, came, put, you came with all your notes. We, we get I'm, the point. I'm not, I'm not here. We get the point, I'm, Mohammed. I get is, the point. This is, this is I all, get the point. This is, this is all proof that he can't debate a member, me. A member, so he has to use these images. Rabbi, debate me. We, we, we didn't ask Shmuley, you to come on with all your exhibits. Rabbi Shmuley, let me ask you a question. A member of the uh, cabinet in Israel 
was actually quoted as saying that nuclear weapons exactly. were an option that mm. Israel could use. A, no one's ever confirmed Israel has nuclear weapons. It's long been suspected. That seemed pretty clear confirmation. Why, why are you against nuclear weapons? But hang on. If you're, if you're not against Dresden, why are you against nuclear Let weapons? Let me ask the question. Let me ask no, the question. No, but why are you against it? I've done this before, this job. Let me do it. Go on. OK? So when that guy says that, if you're, if you're living as an innocent civilian in, in Gaza, what the hell are you thinking? That an mm. Israeli government member mm -hmm. threatens the use of a nuclear weapon, right. which but, would obliterate yes. pretty much all of Gaza and everyone in it. Absolutely. Thank you for the question. If that were true, why hasn't Israel used nuclear weapons against Nasser when he no, invaded? No, it's true. Well, hold on, hold on. It's true. This guy threatened. Yeah, and, the an and the answer is, and the answer is, no, no. I know the guy, and I spoke to him about it. His name is Amichai Eliyahu. Mm. Israel has Nasser, never carpet bombed any against, against Arab. Against Nasser, was on Mohammed ever, 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 ever. Now, now, 1967 was preemptive. He was asked a question by a provocative interview, and he said, "Well, if you're going to bomb the same thing, it was like a, it was a Mohammed job type. You want to kill all the Arabs? Three million people just drop a bomb." He said, "Well, if you want to drop a bomb, drop a bomb." He was being dismissive and stupid, mm -hmm. and he put out a statement the next day saying that never in history would the Jews ever even contemplate doing that. Let's remember one thing: mm. the only place in the, day the Middle East. Did, one second, Pierce. The day before the he only did place, the only using. place in in the Middle. Never in history would they contemplate it. What about the? now or in the future. At least where Arabs have any freedoms, mm. Israel. The only place where they vote openly, okay. Israel. The only place okay. where Palestinian women <laughs> can dress the way they want, Israel. <laughs> the only, and let's be clear, when, when, when Muhammad Hijab gets up and says that we Palestinians want to be a religion of death, you know, I just got a haircut I coming here by an Arab barber that. here in London, and he said to me, I hope, you, I hope you defeat this guy because he doesn't represent us. We want to live. We want to have good lives. We want to be religious. All right. We want to eat halal. Me, uh, but we don't right. want to die for martyrdom. Me, you are not a Muslim. Me, You're an Islamist. You're let an me Islamist. Ask Muhammad, let me ask Muhammad. What Muslim is ever going to say that they don't want to be a martyr? That sounds like a non-Muslim to me. Like that, that's one of the best ways you could die. Probably the best way you could die. And he's claiming that his Arab, Arab barber said... He doesn't want to be a martyr. Question. Let me ask Mohammed a question. For health. Hamas has 240 See, hostages. Stop, stop. Hamas has 240 hostages they took, including babies. Sure. Young kids. Sure. Grandmothers who survived the Holocaust. Yeah. I mean, an unspeakable further criminal Amazing. act. Yeah. We can agree, right? Of course. Why should Israel agree to any ceasefire so long as those hostages are still being kept hostage? Look, um, my position is very clear. They should fight man to man on the they ground. Are. On the ground. Well, they are. That, no, that fighting. That's exactly I, what listen, they're doing. That fighting, no one can. This is. Muhammad, that's exactly it's, what they're doing. I know. Man to man. That's they not what they're doing. Excuse me. They took babies he's as not, hostages. He's, not, he's asked me the question. They, they took infants the question. as hostages. Let him answer the question. You're, you're getting excited here. I know it's your um, sexual. You know, you know, you're the sexual no, 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 rabbi. Now you're back to the sexual rabbi. You're getting overexcited. Get your head out of my bedroom. I'm getting overexcited. He's getting excited with me. Let me ask the questions. You guys answer them. Mohammed, answer my question. Why, if you're Israel, yeah, yeah, would yeah. you ever agree to a ceasefire if those hostages aren't released? I'm, I'm telling you what my position is. My position is man-to-man -man combat. Which is what they're doing now. No, that part of it is understandable. Do you understand? That's what, what they're doing. No problem. But what I think is not understandable, what is not acceptable, because you said, what's the proportionate response? Mm. That's the question you keep asking everybody. My answer to you is a proportionate response mm. is one where in which the ratios are not 100 to 1. That's on the your invention. Excuse me, please. Where does that come from? I'll what's your you what, source? Okay, tell excellent. me the source. The source. Tell me the source. IDF. The, the, ah, the I can't go time. Yeah, sure, can't tell me when. when. did they say it? They said, uh, I know all the ideas. No, no, you don't. I know, I know Jonathan Daniel Hagari. I, Daniel Hagari said what? When? Okay, so no, let me say, explain. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Say, when did he say we're killing yeah, um, it's Palestinians 100 to 1? 10 days ago, and it's mentioned on a website. I'll tell you the website. The truth is, they don't... Uh, so he never said no, 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 this is no, 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 Which website? You asked me a source. Which website? Let me ask me a source. Al Jazeera? No, no, no. Is it Al Jazeera? Me, you've asked me a question, right? Okay. Are you scared to hear the response? Go ahead. Okay, the response is as follows. The Guardian, yep. the Guardian yep. has reported that the IDF have said that in terms of the numbers of Hamas that have been killed, I'm answering this question. I know. The, the Hamas that have been killed, they say, quote, unquote, dozens. Now, listen. Hamas or civilians. You said civilians. No, no. Wait a minute. You said civilians. Wait a minute. I'm telling you where I got the 100 to 1 ratio. Mohammed. 100 to 1 ratio the comes numbers, from The numbers have There's dramatically... 10, invented it. 10,000 civilians the numbers 60. Have... It's actually more than you know, 100 you to 1. You said that you called him out on anything. He has no sources. He has no one can hear what you're saying. Okay. Let me respond to him. This is a blood libel. Let me respond. The Jews have a right to respond to a blood libel. I'm about to question him. It's a blood libel. Here's the reality. I read that report. That was about at least... 
two weeks ago, yeah, right? Ten days ago. The numbers have changed a lot. Yes, they have. Israel now believe they've killed a lot more Hamas. They don't know exactly how many, because actually, how do you tell on the ground By the way, Piers, so the Hamas one, one, one fighter thing, you, and you know, a member of the general population? Just, you know, according to the IDF, mm. and we've done a, a study on the name that they put on X, mm. they have uh, they had 1,280 names that they put on X, mm. and according to Haaretz, they put, uh, Haaretz is, a, as you know, is a left-wing newspaper in Israel. They also put the names of those who have been killed. Guess what? Mm. According to them, 340 military have been killed, which means Hamas's ratio of combatant right. to non combatant is three to one. All right. Imagine Hamas is doing a better job in protecting civilians than Israel. Three I, to one versus I would say, one. I would say that Hamas, by what they did on October the 7th. 100 to one versus three to one. Wait mass, a minute. Mass. Wait a minute. Mass. Wait a minute. Ordered by, by doing what they did, they ordered de facto the disintegration of northern Gaza that we're seeing. Of course. And, and the, all the civilians and the suffering, deaths, of course. Have you seen, have you seen and this? And the deaths Pierce, of sure, thousands sure. Pierce, of let finish, civilians. Let him finish, let finish. They knew what was going to happen. I agree with that. So that's in, why in, they should Pierce, go. Pierce, in, 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 in 2005, Israel unilaterally with... Man, I'm still not sold on the whole October 7th ordeal. Yeah. I, the only other person I've really seen talk about that... Maybe uh, Daniel Hakikaju. But uh, what's his name? Uh, Bolson, Shahid Bolson. He made a video about that recently, a few days ago, saying how he thinks it's weird how there, there are so many young people there on October 7th, all, of course, with smartphones, at least one. And there's no videos. There's no videos. There's the, there's the one video of the one guy getting shot on the ground. That's it. He could have been a, com a combatant male, for all we know. So, I'm not even sold on the whole October 7th thing. And, that, and that's so important. That's so important for the rest of the conversation because that's what, like, everyone uses, like Pierce included, to justify basically everything else. They say, well, what Hamas did on October the 7th is they were, at, they're asking for it, you know? It's like, there's no proof that it even happened. No, no, no solid proof that I've seen drew from Gaza and allowed, Ham well, Hamas won an election in 2006. They could have built Singapore. You know what they did? They took larger foreign aid per capita than all of Europe received from the Marshall Plan. And look what France and Britain, look how beautiful London is. They took that money and they bought bullets and bombs. They did not build hospitals, not schools. They stole it from the Palestinian people. Ismail Haniya is worth $4 billion. To protect dollars. Oh, boy, I don't care about Colin I'm Michel not is worth $4 not protecting I'm billion. Not protecting dollars. Why are you talking then about call him? him Call him I thought evil call criminal. Him anything. You're I afraid to. He says he won't. You see, he will never condemn Hamas because he has condemned. No, it's good. I have. I have. I've heard him, him do it. Excuse me. Excuse wait, wait. No, no, no. He condemned it's Hamas's much attack. Much He's never attacks? condemned Hamas. Well, let me ask you. Do you condemn Hamas? On what basis? He already did. Here we go. See, no, no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You on accept now. Let me, let, me ask you a, let me ask you a question. Every answer is on what basis? On what this? On what this? What's your source? Even if you ask me, if you do condemn the IDF, I say specify your context. In what exact context do I... Do you defend Hamas as a terrorist organization it's, it's a, that just went and killed 1,200 people, burned them alive, beheaded them, uh, 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 and uh, uh, took 250 uh, hostages? Do you, con calm, do you condemn calm, them or calm, not? Calm, do you condemn calm, them or not? Get your calm, head, calm, get your head calm, into calm, the debate, and do you condemn calm, them or not? Calm, See, this is a, this is a debating tactic. It's, 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 it's 2 on 1 now. Let him answer. Let him answer. 2 on 1. It's become 2 on 1. Let him You're not a victim. Stop the victim, but now it's 2 on 1. Stop the victim. You love portraying yourself as a strong man. Now you're a victim, it's 2 on 1. You probably could take 2 on 1. So answer it. Answer the question. Is Hamas a terror organization you condemn? Is that something you and your daughter Is Hamas a terror organization that you... Oh, no. It's a reasonable question because you asked me, is the IDF a terror organization? Okay, beautiful. I'll answer your question. That was bad. That was bad. Hamas is as much a terrorist organization, yet no... Hamas shouldn't be called a terror organization so if, the, uh, so told you. if if the IDF isn't. Why? Okay. Because if See, it's are. either both or not. Okay. This is, this is either okay. both or neither. Okay, but just, to, just to extrapolate your position, because yeah. you believe yeah. the IDF is, yeah. then you're also saying that Hamas is. Let me tell you my position. And say, no, no, it. No, no, say it. 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 Am I, yes, to no, no. Yes, am I to assume legally or morally? You believe, legally or morally? Well, hang on. Go on. Am I to assume that you believe Hamas is now? No, this is, what I'm, this is my position. But you have to give me 10 seconds at least to answer, right? Legally, 
I think you shouldn't call Hamas a terrorist organization if you're not calling IDF a terrorist organization. That's my position. But you do both. Hold on, 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 let me finish. Because if, the, as we said, the UN definition of what a terrorist organization is mm. to kill civilians mm -hmm. in, order, uh, in order to achieve a political objective. However, on a moral and yes. theological, philosophical yes. level, I agree with Rosalind Higgins, mm -hmm. who was uh, the justice of the International Criminal Court, mm -hmm. right? Uh, uh, the Court of Justice, ICJ, a British justice. By the way, she was a Holocaust survivor as well. She was Jewish. Yeah. And her position is that she believes that the word terrorism or terrorist is actually useless. And she says that it's, a, or I'm putting to her- oh, I, Can I, you answer my question? Answer question. Answer, He's going on like that, 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 just to evade the finish, question. Let me finish, so I'm answering your question. So I'm saying that as a moral construct, I think it's a neo-colonial social construct used by people in order to, to label some people as terrorists and other people as well. So okay. as a moral category, okay, yes. okay. I don't designate it as a moral you know, category. You know, you know, you know, as, a legal, as a legal category. Do you believe, yeah, as do you a, personally, Mohammed, yeah, Hijab, yeah, do you yeah. believe that the IDF and Hamas are both terror organizations. I think yes. If, if you yes? if you say if you say yes. yes to IDF, you should say yes to Hamas. So no, yes. if you say no to IDF, that's what, I'm asking you what you believe. Hamas is a terrorist organization. Uh, what if, you if, believe? If you say yes to IDF, you okay. can say yes no, to Hamas. Let me, yes. No, I'm asking you what you believe. Yes, I believe legally, according to the definition. Yes. If you say yes to, say yes to Hamas, okay. you can say yes Pierce, to IDF. Pierce, 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 yes. Pierce, we could go on for the next. I've got to. We are going to the next. But if you say no to the IDF, we're going to we're going to the next. We're going to the next block. But that's interesting. But morally, I don't believe the category has any weight. No, but you have. It has no designation. But you have made your position clear, absolutely. which is that you believe they're both terror organizations. I believe that according to the law, absolutely. Okay, and that's interesting to yes. me. Okay, let's but I have come, to say, no, I have wait, to say, wait, let's come to when the you next... call the IDF a terror organization, the IDF keeps 1.8 no, million Arabs it's alive opinion. in Israel. To one the Hamas, the, this is invention. It's a fabrication. Let me move can't on even, to the last like, Get block. more pictures out. It's unbelievable. Rabbi, this this is son. how you lose your a debate. Your son is an IDF. Your son is an IDF. You can be this. You could be like this. My son is... You could be dead like that. My son is in the IDF. You're here in the safety of the studio talking about how you want to do martyrdom. You're really risking your life here, Mom. You're big talk. Your you son could be lot. dead right now. Like you, attack, you, attack, okay. you attack Ben Shapiro's your, wife. Your son is an idea. You, 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 actually, post, right you actually posted could a clip right saying now. that with someone else saying that Islam like teaches you how to get, how to get women bag? to listen to their husbands. Your this is all false, black false bravado, false... False machismo. Your son, if you're Mendy, a real man, go to dead. the Middle East and fight. What are you doing what in do a terrorism right. studio? Fight with who? Fight with Let him. me move to the last one. You should crazy. be there. You, you have the right to fight no, with no, the no, no, I'm not. You, you use your son as a human shield. You, you try to bully people in debates Enough. and it's being allowed. He's, in this, he's using his son this, as a human shield. I want to move to the last ironically themed subject. Is peace possible? Okay. Not on this basis, right? But we've got to try and get to peace. So you get a minute each again. Uh, Mohammed, you'll go first uh, this time. So you get a minute from now. Okay, so I just want to say that this man is... No, no. Is peace pos no, ever possible? I've got a minute uninterrupted. Is peace ever possible? Can I is speak uninterrupted? No, you're speaking about the subject. I can say what? Well, he's been attacking me. Don't I attack, attack him personally. We're not going to use it. It's pointless. Okay. I'm going to take it, just for the record, we'll put it on YouTube so people can see it all in context, right? But on my show, I'm just not going to have half of this, what I thought was going to be a serious debate, taken up with you two personally abusing Von each other. Von Bismarck it's pointless. Said, excuse me. Von Bismarck said, I repay people with the currency that they pay me with. Right. If he's going to come with ad hominems, as you've acknowledged, I can come back with Right, but you did, and you shouldn't have done, because you had the high moral ground. Ad no, hominems? No, 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 I believe this. Man no, I believe is bringing, bringing up you Jewish sex bad as each other. Stop. In You've this both been as bad as each other. Even sure. that. On the personal stuff, sure. we've been as bad as each other. Let's start again. You get a minute from now. Is peace ever possible? Go. Justice is a prerequisite for peace. In South Africa, uh, when the apartheid system, which we know for a fact Israel is an apartheid state because it has laws like the right of return, which only, only, only allow Jewish people to come into the country. And if they convert, by the way, to Christianity or to, uh, to uh, Islam, they are stripped from that right, which is, it meets completely the definition of apartheid as Paul Cornell Law School and according to the UN Convention 1973. It's an apartheid system. And as a prerequisite of an apartheid system, you have to be a racist. If you support that, you're a racist. No doubt about it. So number one, 1973 apartheid Law. If the black South Africans have been displaced, if they have been displaced by the whites and then they were trying to come back into their country and they were not allowed, and then you asked them, is peace possible? That's not the question we'd be asking them. We'd be asking them, is justice possible? And that's the question that we're going to be asking because he can all uh, sit there and talk about all these things where Yee. the IDF, his son Mendy is being attacked by, vibrated by the, the rockets and he's selling him and his daughter selling vibrators to the public. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary thing at the end again. I hope you keep that in. Uh, Rabbi Please Shuri, in. Okay. one minute on is peace ever possible? Of course. I revere countries like the United Arab Emirates, 
Dubai, Abu Dhabi, where I've spoken several times. I am safer as a Jew wearing a yarmulke in Dubai and Abu Dhabi than I am on the campus of Columbia University or even Harvard these days. Mm. The Mohammed bin, bin Zayed is just an incredible leader. Um, I saw in the Gulf states the Islam that Mohammed Ijab rejects, but the Islamic world embraces. That's why they made peace with Israel. It's a technologically advanced, tolerant, forward-looking, very traditional, very religious Islam. And that's, why, and, that's why, and that's why they've made peace with Israel, and peace will continue to be made. All of these countries are praying for Israel to destroy Hamas, because Mohammed Ijab is an outlier. He's an extremist, and his views, whether his views as he represents them at Speaker's Corner of things about but women being subject. Okay, okay, but well, let, let me just be clear. All of the Arab countries want Hamas destroyed. And, that's, and the proof is, when they had their conference, Riyadh, last week, they did not even okay. once call to bring in any evacuees because they want Israel to establish a more democratic okay. regime in Gaza, which will, they will do. Israel is winning this war. Here's my follow-up to both of you, right? Just give me a very, very quick snapshot of, in 20 years' time, how peace could have been achieved. Very quickly. Okay. The first thing is, when Israel withdrew in 2005, almost 20 years ago, um, if Hamas had not come to power, if they had taken all the international aid that they got, um, tens of billions of dollars, peace would have been achieved by building businesses, entrepreneurship, but How do we get schools. there now? Okay, we get there now by destroying Hamas, making sure that there's democratic elections, let the Palestinian people, not Mohammed Ijab, not Shmuley Bateyach, not Pierce I mean, you both agree them, Hamas them, should be gone, right? They, we can they, agree on this, right? We they, agree they, that they, there they, should they, be a bigger need, Palestinian need, authority with armies and airplanes. I'll come to you in a moment, Mark. And, 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 and the way we have And the way we have They should have tanks. In the history of the world, no two democratic rockets powers have ever gone to war. That's why since the end of the Second World War, there's been no war here in Europe. We need to see a democratic Gaza. Hamas won an election in 2006. There's a war in Europe now, by the way. Correct, because it's against a tyranny. No, I said no two democracies ever gone to war. Putin is not a democracy. He's a tyrant. In the history of the world, no two democracies ever fought a war. We have a democracy in Gaza. So what does peace look like in 20 years? Peace looks like the Arabs voting for their rulers, voting and backing them, and seeing Israel as a partner, not being humiliated that because of this tiny little red dot surrounded by that that's humiliation. Two state solution? I, well, you know, uh-huh. what uh-huh. I, well, uh-huh. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. If, if, if two state solution is a Hamas state wanting to eviscerate Israel, uh, course, he doesn't God. believe in it. But he doesn't, he believe, doesn't believe in it. I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think democracy is part of uh, Sharia government. Can't be, right? The democracy voting. All this stuff is not Islamic. It's a solution. He believes in a final solution. That's no, no, what no, really no. scares okay, me. Okay. You don't believe in a two state solution. You believe in a final solution. I'll ask him in a minute. The way you speak about Jews, you believe in a final solution. And it's scary. I love Jews. I like them. Do you believe in a two state solution? I love Jews. If that second state is Mexico, Jewish people are fantastic people. If that second state is Gaza, then of course not, because it'll just become another genocidal enemy wanting to wipe right. Israel off the map. That's pretty unequivocal. He doesn't really want a two-state solution. I don't want he, a two-state solution. He, that's, a, that's, that's a terror state to destroy Israel. I personally of course believe not. this whole question should be left to the Palestinians of what kind of solution they want. However, having said that, this man has written in his book, A War in Israel, that is uh, the settlement. I didn't write a book called The War in Israel. Uh, so, uh, it's called The, uh, the Israel Warrior, something oh, thank like that. Thank right? you. Thanks for plugging Ah, fantastic. I appreciate it. Fantastic. That. Thank you very much. Right, in that book, he writes thank you, Muhammad. that the God issue of, you. excuse me, the issue of settlements that me and you both condemn, mm. Piers. I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do. He doesn't condemn it because he sees a, an ancient uh, biblical reason to be in that whole land. Oh, I think, Israel, I think Arabs and Israelis uh-huh. should be able to live wherever they want. Uh-huh. I want Arabs to live in Jerusalem. Uh-huh. I want Arabs to live in Tel Aviv. Uh-huh. I want Jews to live there. I don't believe in the Union in Israel. I don't believe in Arabs. I am so proud that Israel has. 1.8 million Arab Muslim citizens who are protected by the IDF. Yeah, but he calls the IDF a terrorist. Yeah, they are Shmuel, defending Shmuel, Muslim Shmuel, lives. Shmuel, Shmuel, Shmuel. What you should be less proud of is the rapid expansion exactly. of these settlements on the West Bank. That's it right. has been incredibly you condemn divisive. That? You condemn it's that? It's been, in my view, illegal. It's been declared illegal. Illegal by everyone's view. Happen. Well, Pierce, the UN, let me Pierce, let me human tell rights. There are many things I'll defend. There are many things I'll defend Israel about. That is indefensible. Let me answer. Let me answer. If you go to places in Judea and Samaria in the West Bank. Why do you call it Judea and Samaria? Like, like, because those, those are the biblical land. Who cares? Why do you call something Arabia? It's for the Arabs. No, 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 it's Judea, it's the Jews. It's not the land. Now, now, you, you don't know history. It was always Judea and Samaria. Uh, the West wasn't. Bank is the West Canaan. Bank of a river. According to the Bible. We don't call Canaan California the, the West Why Bank of the Mississippi River. Now, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Call it Canaan. If you go to the Barkhan Industrial Park in Judea and Samaria, you will see, I've met the Palestinians, I've interviewed them. They are paid 
20 times the salary working for people you call settlers. They want them there. It brings civilization. It's only jihadis who don't want it. It's only jihadis. And that's why you're saying... That's not true. Yes, it is true. That's not true. I've interviewed them myself. I know many, many Palestinians who definitely do not want them. You know Palestinians who want to live under Mahmoud Abbas with no democracy? Let me come to Mohammed. afraid to criticize Mohammed in the jail? Mohammed. Yes, my friend Mohammed. Go ahead, Mohammed. Please, please, please. You're wearing my favorite blue color. Of course I'll let you speak. Fantastic. For that reason? Brilliant. Thank you. Just because uh, I'm wearing the blue? My mother loved that color. And she passed I, away I thought, was, so I, I thought, it, so I, I thought it would have thank been you. because of Israel, because you... Oh, that's right. You wore the Israeli <laughs> colors, Israeli colors today. Is it, Mohammed, is that, is that, is that can we shake hands? No, please. I don't want to. Because your really? hands are shaking. Your oh, hands I'm are sorry, shaking. I'm sorry. I mean, look how it's peaceful. Why are you shaking? You shake hands? Shake my hands? No, no. I'll shake hands with you. You wouldn't shake my hand? After what you said today about me, I can't shake your hand. After what you said about my sex life and I'm shaking your hand? Stop, stop. I just want to say... You won't shake my hand? You won't shake my hand? I guess it will be no you know, You know, I, what he said there is a little bit telling because, you know, the, the blue colors in Israel and all that kind of stuff. He defended Dershowitz, which was Jeffrey Epstein's uh, lawyer, mm. for that very reason, because he's a supporter of Israel. I defended I, Dershowitz? I Did you go Dershowitz when I fought over him going to you Qatar. Him. You don't know anything. You wrote on the Observer. You're, you're, you wrote on the Observer. You're abysmal you wrote ignorance. Wrote on the Observer. It's shocking. Me and Alan Observer. Dershowitz had a huge fight over Did you go him to the island? defending Qatar. Who Did you go gives, to the island? Who gives, no, come on, guys. Did I Get go back to Epstein? Did you go to the island? Mohammed. Mohammed. Anyway, 20 years time. Mohammed, Mohammed. 20 years time. No, no. I don't care about Alan Dershowitz. I know Alan Dershowitz. I'm not going to use the stuff about Alan Dershowitz. Forget it. What is right? your obsession no, with sex? I don't get it. I'm not going to use I'm any of Both of you seem totally obsessed Unbelievable. with sex. Unbelievable. <laughs> Coach your sex for marriage. I can't believe Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein's island was brought up in this interview. I, don't I didn't care write it to get about, into other people's bedrooms. I don't care about either of your sex lives. Okay? He seems Let me pretty ask interested you, in mine. 20 right. years time. I'm not interested. 20 years' time, what does a potential peace look like? I don't know. But that's, that's a speculative question, to be honest. You're asking me a hypothetical. You Two-state you solution? I don't know. You're asking me a hypothetical question. I you am, said you yeah. don't do, I asked you a hypothetical. You said I don't do hypotheticals. I wanted uh, to give me hope. Why did you not answer my hypothetical question if you're asking me Which a hypothetical one? question? Which one? That Belfast question. Why? Huh? Remember, I asked you the Belfast question and you didn't answer it. I don't think there is. The only parallel... Why didn't you answer the, that one? Because they're different situations. No, but it's hypothetical. You're asking me a hypothetical now. Why? But you don't have to answer. I'm just asking you. No, but why do you have a double standard? I don't standard? think asking you how peace might look like is hypothetical. No, it's talking about the future here's, in a, in a here's, hypothetical. Here's, 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 can I how say, would you like it? Let, let me rephrase it. How would you like it to be resolved this crisis? Okay, fantastic. Okay? Okay, look. Yeah, let's look at history. River right? to the sea. That's how you want it, right? No Israel. Come let on. him answer. Well, don't answer, answer for him. Saying. Honestly, you, you'd be surprised to, to know this. And people talk about, you, you said this, I have to correct you. I looked at the Hamas charter, Hamas himself, yeah? Mm. In, in Article 16, even they say you can have, in Article 31, they say that you can have peace between, you, they can have a shared land between Christians, Muslims, and Jews. They even say that. I, I think the most radical elements, everybody you want, uh, the jihadis, these ones, that one, no one actually wants the extermination of Jewish people. That's a, that's a actually, lie. Actually, that's not true. The Hamas charter. Wait, wait, wait. Now, let me, let me speak. I'll tell you The Hamas charter. You, yeah. you know, let me yeah. speak. I'll tell you Hamas charter yeah. calls yeah. for the... the Hamas people. charter says that behind every single tree and stone... That's hadith. Where a Jew... That's hadith of prophet. Now you're saying that the... No, the no, that's hadith. That wouldn't even be my answer. It says that every Jew has to be murdered. How can you possibly deny that? That's hadith. You know, you have... That's hadith. What's the hadith say? What does it say? The hadith says in the end of... It's an eschatological hadith. Yes, go ahead. It's an eschatological hadith, which says that on the end of time there'll be a war and there'll be trees and stones that say behind me is a is a Jew uh, killing him. So Muhammad is saying that the Jews should yeah, be killed? Yeah, this is a hadith which has been misinterpreted. And what does it mean? So, but what anyway, does it mean? What does it, it mean? No, it means that it's an eschatological. It's not an imperative. What does it mean? It's not an imperative. Are, are you Muhammad, obligated to kill a Jew on the bed according no, to the hadith? You're no, no, no. not. Okay, okay. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Well, you, well, you, well, you, well, you, well, you pick and choose. You pick and choose. No, excuse me. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Let me ask you a question. Is this a theological question? So I'm asking you. This hadith is called an eschatological. You know this because you're a theologian. It's an eschatological hadith. It's not talking about... It's not literal. It's, it's, not, imper- it's not like uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse number 3, where it says, go and kill the men, women, children, donkeys, and oxen, mm. which, by the way, Netanyahu quoted. No, Amalek. that's not true. He quoted Amalek. That's, 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 uh, he that's, said that's you can kill them one minute. It's not like that. See, this, is, this, me, is, this is the blood libel of saying let, the Jews want to... to can I get a word in here? Yeah, but but Pierce, 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 no, Pierce, we have to be fit. She's going to put a point to Marwin. Of course. I'll tell you who wants the absolute annihilation of every Jew they can get their hands on. 
all the Hamas terrorists who crossed the border on October talking? the 7th yeah. who gleefully okay, fine, fine. recorded yeah. it, fine. boasted see, about no, it, see, no, and, fine, and, fine. and fine. the Hamas official... Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. And the Hamas official spokesman who yeah. only last week said yeah. they want to do it again and again yeah. and again. Yeah, that, if you don't that, think no, 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 that, that, Hamas here's, here's are wedded no, 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 as an organisation no, no, no. to the annihilation of Jewish people, you are living in... In their charter, it says that they will murder... They said in their actions... No, no, they so does what they want to do. That I agree with. Hold on. Uh, let me tell you why I agree or disagree. Both the IDF and Hamas, on paper, say they don't want the annihilation of Muslims and Jews. No, let, no. Let, let me, the please, Hamas allow charter me, allow me. says that's not no, it doesn't. true. I'm Look not at gonna, it. Look the Hamas at it. charter it. says explicitly uh, that every Jew will be murdered no, by Hamas. No, they are a no, genocidal no, charter. I read Arabic. Yes, it is. And you're not. You are lying. You are lying. I'm sorry. It's not true. Hold on. Hold on. Nobody can hear either of you. Piers. But the point is, in my estimation, after no, October the 7th, Piers, give me Hamas a are now a, Piers, give me a openly boastful, no, 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 genocidal no, 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 bunch of Let me tell you why. Yes. That's no, hold, it. Hold, hold with on, with hold terrorists on. calling no, their on, parents and saying, answer. I killed 10 I Jews. That. I just said that. The Lukid party in 1999 had the charter, and in it they said they want the whole of Israel, including, as he believes... Um, the West Bank and Gaza and everything. If we are going to, because there they is, say they would kill Arabs. No, 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 Arabs are equal finish. citizens. Hold Arabs on. will be equal citizens. No, let me finish. Let me finish. They're not equal because there's apartheid laws. No, like, there's no apartheid law. law. Of the apartheid law. law of return. So let me explain that. No, no, let me, right let me, now, let me right get now, to the point. You can go to one Portugal time, and Spain me, and show that if you have ancestry, they give you citizenship. That's Israel. If not you Arabs, have Jewish not interest, Arabs. No, every country. Arabs or not. Listen, this Arabs is or not. the country. Okay. Arabs or not. Muhammad. Aha. Muhammad, let me Aha. speak. Let me speak. <laughs> we, live in a, we live in a Christian country <laughs> where the sovereign head of state is a Christian. I'm a Jew. I never felt alienated from the fact that this is a Christian country. Arabs okay, live as equal okay. citizens We're in a done Jewish with you, state. Right. You're almost... You know, can Wait I, a minute, I'm going to give you the But you know, the, the astonishing the thing is... Can actually ask each other questions Muhammad, now? Muhammad, okay. Muhammad had two Jewish wives, but you won't shake the hand of a Jew. And you know why? Not That's you. not Islam. Not That's you. Islamism. All right, Islamism... Is, is Let me move on. You did have, you did, you did We're going really to the sad. final part. Sad. And the you final part is where sad. I want to try and end this, right? It's been mm. acrimonious. It's been passionate. Uh, I'm not sure we've achieved very much, certainly not as much as I hoped to. Um, I think we're all agreed that Hamas need to go. Um, many would perhaps agree Netanyahu should also have to go. He right? doesn't. He's his friend. Right? Well, I, I personally think the... The will of the Israeli people. Friend, right? Democratically elected leader, I believe. In Hamas the democracy. has democratically elected. Well. Hamas is a dictatorship. <laughs> that end, right. They ended yeah. elections a year after their dictatorship. Me, That's me, why Mahmoud Abbas will not go there. He's finish. afraid of them. Let me finish. You We're coming can't to just wait a minute. These fraudulences so much really. cannot be challenged. We're coming to the final block. Which is, get, this final block you. doesn't have a thing. I just want to see if we can get to any points of agreement. Right? We've had all the arguments. You've chatted with each other. You've personally abused each other. Yes. Right? You're passionate. You've raised some good points, but they've been mostly shouted out. I just want to know how he feels if his a... son comes back in a no, black bag like No, you've shown us the pictures, right? That's such a disgusting uh, By the way, thing. how would you like it? Wait, wait, Muhammad, can we, can we like show it as much as the show? I'd like, like it as You're much as the pictures. Me, my yeah. son, you know how low that you get? Yeah, yeah. You, you so attack you Vincent Shapiro's wife. You're not a real man. Real men don't attack women. Real men don't tell us that five-year-old girls can have sex. Real men don't speak about another. Yes, you did. You said it like this. My Instagram. Would you Don't say that five-year-old girls creep you best and should have Why sex. Why are you getting angry with them? You the are is. talking about my your son because yeah, you're not son. a real man. All right, whatever. You're a bully. Why don't you fight an idea? And if you really Why believe, you and if you idea? really believe, Why'd you push in your, your son as a human shield? You would not be in the what? safety of, 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 of a studio in London. You're, you can Do not bring up my son. Mendy's here. Do not bring up Ben Shapiro's. Imagine this is Mendy. Stop picking on women. Imagine this is Mendy. Stop. See, you want to. You want a civil debate? But imagine this man saying that your son, your son is dead. Listen. You have no. Morality. Imagine you that. have no decency. Take a look at that. You have no Imagine goodness. That's your son. And this right. debate is Imagine a farce because, because this man down. is here yeah. I can spend, to I can, speak about my minute. sex life. He's here to say my son's going to die. He is a Jew hater. He's an anti-Semite. He's an Islamist. And the fact that this debate has gone along me, this way, allowing You're him to European. evade every question. You come from European extraction. Fabricate, Are you Polish? Fabricate. Are you Polish? My father's from Iran, my friend. You yeah. know nothing no, about me. Okay? You're Ashkenazi. My father's from Iran. My father was raised around Muslims. And he didn't meet Muslims like you. 
more than you are. I'm more Semitic than you are. The, than you are. the, what is the point allowed, of it? The fact that he's been allowed to offer fabrications of Jews killing three Imagine million people. Imagine The fact that he's allowed Imagine. to offer fabrications Imagine. Imagine. That, that have no source that the idea of his killing a thousand to one. The fact that he's been allowed to tell his lies is a travesty of this show. It's a travesty of the media. The fact that he has not been challenged by you, Pierce, is unacceptable. You know one of the problems He has evaded every question. The fact that he's allowed to talk about my sex life, Jewish sex life, he's obsessed with people's sex life. This, was this is a travesty. And the fact Mindy. that you're not ashamed of how... Oh, the fact that embarrassing. you are not ashamed of how you, how you humiliate stop, stop, Islam. Islam stop, stop, is a you know great what, world you know religion. What, Rabbi Shmuley, and Muslims should reject this right, man. Not me. Not would the be, rabbi. It would, Muslims all right, should reject stop. this man. It would be a lot easier for me to challenge him, which I have done repeatedly. And actually, you let him evade hear his and answers. evade if you, and evade. If you allowed me to do my job rather than shout over from every single thing he he was says. interviewing you, Pierce, from the first no, second he was asking you He wasn't. He was asking me a perfectly... He was asking me a perfectly legitimate legitimate question, yes. which I was trying to answer, but you kept shouting, as you have done for the for the entire show. This is not so when you say uh -oh. the debate that talks about Schmoly my sex life. The pair of you women says my children are going to die. This is not a debate. Sake, shouting Schmoly. This is a man who the cannot debate. New hashtag. Why don't you make arguments? Shouting Schmoly. Drama. Rabbi Why Shmuley. do you have to show these Control pictures? Yourself. Why, Why don't the pair have, of you? Why don't you care about done. Muslims being killed by Hamas right. for 17 years stealing their money? Should we just Why forget this? Why does it bother this? you that Ishmael Haniyeh is worth four billion dollars? Shall we? Do you want to even conclude this? Because it's pointless. It's not me that's speaking. Actually. I mean, in a way, I, what, do, what, do you, what do either of you think you've achieved with this? I don't know. Constant personal abuse. I'll answer that. I'll answer. The constant personal abuse. I'll answer. I'll answer. I'll answer. Can I answer that question? That's what I'll, I'll, question. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I've achieved. People like Islamists like Muhammad Hijab, and you can answer. Uh, if you don't it's interrupt me, <laughs> I'll finish with this, and then you can speak. Mm. They believe that Israel is going to disappear. They believe that we Jews are afraid of them. They believe that we Jews won't debate them. They believe that we tremble. He, ha he did a video last week when he said, Jews. did you see how they tremble? Who's they? Who's they? I have seen. Who Who's are they? they? Who are they? I was going to say Jews. Who did, who, then who did you mean? So why did you Who did you mean? He Jews. meant the Jews. He won't even say Anti-Semitism can't. You know why I'm here? Weak. You know why I'm here? Let me finish. Anti-Semitism. You know why I'm here? Anti-Semitism can't. You know why I'm here? I'm here to show the To shut the debate down because you're weak. You're weak. Just like your son. Your son the coward. Your son the coward. The idea of coward. down the Babylonians. We have stared down the Romans. Your son the idea of coward that might become back in a black bag. down the Greeks. We will stare down Muhammad Ijab and do Islamists. Anything. You don't fight with your son. Forever. Don't fight with your we son. We are the eternal nation. So I, well, you know what I've son. achieved? I've shown people like him that we are going nowhere. We're not Who's afraid we? of them. We don't tremble. We're not afraid. And if we haven't achieved the constructive dialogue, we've tried with the Palestinians for 75 years. We offered them a two-state solution, 1936. I don't think you've made no, any attempt no, to no, civilize Oh, come on. This was never civilized in the first moment. Okay, okay. this was never was. civilized. Actually, it was. Piers, can I just can I respond was. to that? This was can never civilized. Forget about all this. A man racism. accusing Israel of killing three million Palestinians okay. is a fraudulent lie. That's not what he said. A man who cannot cite sources is a lie. He's saying he's saying He's saying that Israel's an apartheid state. I'm immune to this. I'm immune to this. 20% of the soldiers fighting for Israel are black, by the way. What do you want to say? Yeah, they're black, and if you look at the Haaretz newspapers, they're treated as second-class citizens. Uh, this, this, Mama, what do you want to say in that? conclusion? Uh, hold on. Uh, I want to say something that he said about the Peel report in 1936, which is a point of historical contention. He doesn't know that. He mentions this in his book as well, and he's mentioned it before, seven times that the Palestinians want peace. He doesn't know what history is, because let me respond to you. In 1936 and 1937, where the Peel report happened under the premiership, of Ramsay MacDonald, mm. and then 1939, when the white paper took place under the premiership of Neville Chamberlain. Actually, the Arab Higher Committee, which represented the voice of the Palestinian people, agreed with the conclusions of the Peel Report. In 1947, the Arab League agreed with the conclusions of the Peel Report. He doesn't know that because there's no that. truth to that. No, I'll give you the sources. Jerusalem, excuse me, excuse me. I'll give you the sources. The I will give you the sources. Al Husseini said we will excuse, never I'll, I'll, accept I'll, it, and then he moved to Germany and lived with Adolf Hitler. Excuse, like, That's the truth. Uh, the Mufti of Jerusalem. The truth is. Let me give you the sources. The truth, the let truth me give you the sources. No, this is pure you. fraudulence. It's what do you mean? Uh, the Muslim of Jerusalem was a Nazi, and he rejected okay. Okay. it, and true. they all followed he, uh, no, it. He was a Nazi, correct? No, he did. Yeah, he, did. he was a Nazi. The Mufti uh, yeah, was a Nazi. He was right. a Nazi. He shook hands with the Hitler. No, he went to live with Hitler. He went to live with Hitler. I don't know if he lived with Hitler. Forgot about that. He moved to Germany. You know this is all completely unwatchable, I know, I know. People at home are just going, what's the matter with these two guys? Can we just imagine? He wants my nation not to exist, and I want to exist. Why can't you try and have some civilized dialogue? Dialogue. No, because I'm answering his questions. You but can't. No, let me speak. Neither so, of you can. Okay, so here's what I'm saying. I'm not interrupting him. 
I'm saying you didn't interrupt me. You both done it to each other the entire show. Okay, here's what I'm saying. In 1936, 1937, you have the pill. He said, "What's the source? The source is the, Palest- uh, the Encyclopedia of Palestine. It's so the source is the cable gram, mm. which you can find on the UN website in 1947. Mm. That on the I'll tell you the dates. On the 15th of May, 1948, which is when one day after the uh, state of Israel was established, according to the UN website, which you can find in the public as a primary source uh, material, that the Arab League said that we consider the conclusions of the Peel Report is acceptable. And the In 1948, they said that? Five yeah. Arab nations no, no, invaded Israel no, the on, next on. day no, no, and the War you, of Independence yeah, great. Let me tell you 1% why. of but the no, no, entire Israeli population were murdered sure, sure. Let me by tell the you Arab why. armies. Fine, fine. Did you just say they accepted the state of Israel? Did you really just yeah, say I just, that? I just say that. I said that you no, just no, said yes, that in 1948, yes, the Arabs accepted the state of Israel. I'm giving you sources. Come on, Pierce, I'm giving Pierce. you sources. Does this show up any credibility Let me give you sources. You just answered it. Can I give you sources? That's what you're there for. The Shmole, the sources that I'm presenting the sources that I'm presenting you is as follows. Yes, you're right. Of course, there was a war in 1940. Five Arab nations. Five Arab nations. Only three of them crossed the border, according to Rashid in his book, Hundred Year War, which, you, which I can recommend to you. Thank you. And other books as well, Albert Haraini and others. Secondary source material. But the primary source material is this. In 1947, uh, undoubtedly, it's, it's on the UN website, you can find that the Arab League they accepted the conclusions of the Peel Commission that took place in 1936 and 1937. Oh, By the way, years later? No, 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 well, the source is Bill Clinton, who no, done the deal no, with him. No, the source is Dennis Ross. And let me no, tell you something. No, Den- no, Bill Clinton so says me. in his memoirs, Bill my Clinton life, makes he says it very clear. Can I answer? Can I answer? That you made go me first, a go failure. Go first. Arafat agreed go first, go the deal first. with Bill Clinton and then reneged on the deal. Correct. Can I, can I answer? That's, wrong. that's wrong. Looking back, that's wrong. it's not wrong. Can I, can I answer? It's not wrong, Mohammed. And looking back, and looking back. You have chance to respond. Let me finish my question to you. And looking back on it, I would simply say, when you look at the entire history of this conflict, no, but that, let me respond to that, please. Yeah, let, that was the moment when real peace could have been achieved. That's wrong. Let me tell you why. Okay, let me tell you why. And you can both listen to this very carefully and take notes and check me, fact check Just me. Just answer the, go- the question. No, go ahead and fact check me. In 1993, you had the Oslo Accords. Both there was two signatories, as you know, uh, Arafat and Rabin, and both of them got the peace prize for that. You know that everyone knows that, except for Benjamin. Yes. Pardon? Paris yeah, 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 yeah. Paris, of course. But I'm saying the two, uh, the Prime Minister and, the, mm. and, and Arafat at the time they signed it. You agree? Yes. You brought it in your book. Up until 2000, there were what you call peace conferences that took place. Taba 1, Taba 2, et cetera, et cetera. You agree. Everyone agrees. All right. In 2000, this is what you're talking about, not 93. Because 93, Arafat... 93 was also the one. 95 was also the one. No, I know. He's talking about... 2000 was Yasser Arafat, Bill Clinton. Give me a second. I'm talking about the period when Arafat... He's talking about walked away. When Arafat walked away. Camp David, correct. The whole period when Arafat and Clinton... So, so, yes, yes. ...were negotiating, and they finally got to a point... No, he's right. He's he's saying that... He's right, because he's saying that in 2000, the Camp David summit... Yes, correct. Oh, okay, yes. excellent. Now, you see, from 1993 up until 2000, yes. you had these peace conferences. Everyone agrees, okay? Yes. In 2000... And the Y River Accords, which is... Sure, sure, sure. By sure. Netanyahu, by the way. No, no, no. That's, Netanyahu was, that's uh, the period I'm talking Netanyahu about. In a second. He was against this whole thing from the beginning. No, he yeah. signed the Y River Accords. Uh, let, me come to, let me come to you. 2000 yeah. is what you're talking about. Walking yes. Let me tell you some sources. I'll give you Israeli source. Because I know Dennis Ross is... Uh, uh, what do you call uh, it? The, the deeper I get into this, the more I realize I, I don't know so much about this... Sorry about that. That was probably really loud. I don't know about the history of this and the it's very complex. It's such a complicated uh topic with a lot of history. And yeah, like I said, the deeper I get into it, the more I realize I don't know about it. He's he's a biased source, right wing, uh Zionist, whatever. I'll give you another Zionist source. His name is uh uh, uh What's the point ben of this? His name is Ben Omi. He's been uh, Ben Ami. Ben, ben What's Ami. The point of this? Ben Ami mentioned. Ben Ami mentioned that the the, de- the deal that was struck in two thousand, mm. he wouldn't accept it himself if he was a Palestinian. That's what he said in his words, he, in his memoirs. Number one. Number two is if you consider what happened. I don't know who Ben Ami uh, is. He seems to be the no, most no, insignificant. No, no. Check it out. Check it out. Google it. The, 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 he could be a columnist. He's not insignificant. He was part of the right. courts. No, no. Let me let me let me please. You know please. what? It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter because not... you're saying uh, they walked away. It's not. It's, it that's according to one side. I've read Bill Clinton's biography. Yeah, yeah. But he tells the whole He's getting it from Dennis Ross. He's getting it from Dennis Ross. No, he was there. I believe Bill Clinton. No, no. He's getting it. Okay. Let me just be clear. Bill Clinton. And Aoud Barak. I believe Bill Clinton. That's your offered first Offered Arafat on, 97% on. of that's the West Bank's dance in Samaria. That's false. Wait, not wait, false. wait, wait. So then, can I respond then? And, 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 and not only did Arafat not accept the deal, Arafat didn't let Muhammad didn't finish counter. There. 
He left without okay. countering. Let me, let me and then me. when Arafat was leaving and he shook Bill Clinton's hand, this is the story that Bill Clinton mm-hmm. tells in his book, My Life, he shook his hand and he said, Mr. Clinton, you're a great man. And then Clinton looked him in the eye and said, I'm not a great man, I'm a failure. Yeah. And you have made me one, Mr. Correct. Sam. So you go, go, and both I was of you with, go to one source. No, no, wait, wait. But then let's get... Orientalist. It, it, it gets better. Oh, it gets source. better. In no, no, let me, it gets you better. In two, it was in, widely reported. Let's get... Who, who, let's who, get it gets better. Who, in 2000, in 2008, who, who, who in 2008... You're wrong, Mohammed. How am I wrong? Give me a source. It was Arafat. The Clinton source is the president of the United States. He's biased like a brother. You Arafat walked away from the best No, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. In the whole country. Let me explain something. Do you believe Forbes magazine? Let me respond. Do you believe Forbes magazine? Let me respond. Do you believe Forbes magazine? No, that's like that, 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 that Arafat died. Do you want to? Can we make it civil? That? Make it civil. Maybe, maybe, maybe Arafat respond. didn't want to end to the are you, scared? Scared? are you scared? Are you scared of my response? Uh, are you scared? I don't think so. Great. You let me use speak. the word scared a lot. It's okay, don't run away. Let me respond. Okay, run away. Don't run away. I'm right here, Mohammed. Okay, great. Right here. I'll get closer to you. Listen, listen, listen. Stop shouting, Rabbi Smiley. Ninety-three. As we, as we said, there was all these accords. That's what I wanted to say. Shmoli doesn't now, in 19, what was what were the uh, contentions? Let me tell you what the contentions were on the Oslo Accords. Number one, Jerusalem. Number two, the settlements. Number three, the occupied territories. Number four, the borders. That's what they were mentioning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You forgot now, the, the you forgot the refugees. Which is the it, most contentious. Yeah, sorry, refugees. Way. You correct, forgot correct, that correct. completely. Okay, the, 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 the refugees, correct. Which is the right to return law, and we know this apartheid anyway. But anyways, these no, four, it's not apartheid. Okay, every we'll, we'll every country in Europe allows people with ancestry. You have a point, Mohammed. Okay, I do have a point. Which is as follows: what is they, it? they divided the areas into area A, B, and C. Okay, that was the, also two and ninety-five. Okay, yeah, sure. So what I'm saying is, in that time, the question is, who was treacherous to the agreement? Because we know that, as you know, you condemned the settlements. That was part of the Oslo Accords. No, no. The of people course, who were part of the Oslo Accords. was Arafat, who was giving the Why terrorists money it? to kill Jews. A thousand Jews Why died, it? which is the equivalent here in Britain of thirty thousand people being killed in terror attacks. All right. Can I, can I ask? Can I ask Mamba one question, please? You said also one, also two. May I ask you one question? I don't know if I how want much, you to tell us okay, any question. Well, you, know, you don't have to answer. But so this is the point. Does, this is a how myth. Mu- how much? How much? This is a myth. How, how much of the Palestinian population in the yeah, West Bank, yeah, as yeah, you call it, yeah, is yeah. controlled right now by the Palestinian Authority? What percentage of the Palestinians are, are, are under? Are under? No, 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 you won't answer. No, it. You don't on. know, do you? None of it. Because all of it is no, 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 idea. No, 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 to summarize, right? Let go first. It's no problem. How you think we move on from here? Because clearly, anyone watching this is going to see two completely intractable sides, right? This is what I see on Twitter all day long. Right. I see people on the uh, Israeli side and on the pro Palestinian side, and they scream at each other all day long, right? They say some things that are right, some things that are wrong. You're part of that as well. Whatever. There's this kind You'll of, get you involved in it. Well, you both said to me before we sat down. <laughs> I don't he's, want to speak out of himself. Speak out of terms, but you both it. said to me independently. Well, so now it's the two of us ganging up on him. Well, Finally, okay. you both said to me before we started, you said that the American uh, Jewish community were very pleased with what I've done oh, on the yes, show. they are. And you said that the Muslim world Please well done the show. And I took that as a perfect extrapolation of what we've been trying to achieve, which is giving both sides a voice and a platform. And I continue so let me do my minute. What, my has, minute. What, has worked, side, what has not worked, what has not worked, yeah. is bringing you together like this because actually it's been a an ear-thumping, <laughs> screaming match. So you're mm. now going to get a minute each to, okay. to summarise, right? You can go and first. in the summary, I want to see if we can at least pretend to be constructive here, right? Okay. Okay. Because the world needs this somehow to end. Okay. So, Rabbi Shmini, you go first. First of all, Mohammed, thank you very much for wearing the Israeli colors. Thank you for your support of the Jewish state. We greatly appreciate it. I should have done the same. Secondly, uh, I, I'm sorry you wouldn't shake my hand. I will shake your hand anytime because I do believe what Pierce said, yeah, we have to have petty. peace and harmony going forward. It's a shame that you said no. Third, peace will come. My Arab brothers and sisters who are the green on this map, except that tiny little thing that I'm covering with my finger, a tiny little thing called Israel. And when they understand that Israel is not the Jewish Dude, homeland, Shmoli's Israel is shaking. actually the great Arab hope. If our Arab brothers and sisters get <laughs> the economic prosperity of Israel, the rights for women, the rights for... for, for Peter right. I, want to, I want to hear what he said, though. What did he say? A tiny little thing called Israel. And when they understand that Israel is not the Jewish homeland, Israel is actually the great Arab hope. If our Arab brothers and sisters get the economic prosperity of Israel, the rights for women, the rights... To, for freedom of assembly, <laughs> to criticize their governments without fear, the way the people in Hamas, uh, in Gaza, would be murdered by Hamas, let alone in uh, Palestinian Authority, they'd be thrown in jails. Israel's the great hope. Let me just say this. Islam 
is a great world religion. It created the world's first universities. It introduced agricultural reforms in Europe under Sultan Akbar in India 400 years before Europe. You had, um, you had Al-Razi who introduced medical reforms 600 years before the... the All right. And if we return to that kind of advance, not the Islam that is being advocated All right. by Mohammed Ijab, which is antiquated All right. and well, dark ages, you then we will have time. peace. Okay. So God bless my Muslim brothers and sisters, Ma and I will shake your hand any time. Mohammed, a minute for you. As I said before, and I'll say it again, justice is a prerequisite for peace. If this was the case that it was South Africa and both nations had a long and known history with each other, Israel and South Africa, and there's a book called The Secret Alliance that you can read for your further information. If this was South Africa and the blacks were kicked out of their country, they were kicked out of their country by the whites, like the Nakba, 700,000. Uh, Palestinians were kicked out. And then they had the audacity to talk about peace. Nobody would be accepting it. The apartheid laws of South Africa are the same effectively as the apartheid laws of Israel. You're not allowed to come back to the country unless you are of a specific ethnicity, which meets the requirement for apartheid. It was weird to listen to Mohammed Hijab speak without Shmoli interrupting. Ah! 100 to 1 ratio of being killed in Gaza. This seems to be acceptable to Shmoli. Unholy Shmoli. It seems to be acceptable to him. It's, a good it's not acceptable. It's a very to good rhyme. Uh, At least a little bit it's of comedy. It's not acceptable to me. It's not acceptable to the people. When we see these images, it's absolutely not acceptable. So peace is a, uh, justice requirement for peace. By the okay. way, by the way no, Shmoli, that's a, no, not no, Shmoli. No, 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 it doesn't no, rhyme. No, 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 doesn't matter what your name is. Look, I found that a quite a dispiriting hour. I've got to be honest with you. Doesn't matter. I thought both of you let yourselves down. I gave you a great opportunity here. Uh, we gave you to try and reach. Well, please, come on. Well, fine. You can say what you like we about give me. You I an, don't care. We gave you an audience. You gave us an care. audience. It's fine. But it's not just about the audience. It's about a big audience, which we're getting for all these shows. About a big audience seeing people but, try but to come together. Don't be sanctimonious, though. Nobody here has seen you try even try to come together. Why would no, you know, it's Pierce, dispiriting Pierce, to me. Pierce, what can I do? Pierce, with all your respect, since try you know, harder. I, 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 I believe. Apartheid. You know, I believe. I believe. Do you agree I with believe, I believe in constructive criticism. Try harder. Do you agree as with Nelson Mandela Pierce, when he came out. Of, Nelson Mandela could have gone down this road when he came out of prison after 27 years. And, and they called him a terrorist. Then they called him a terrorist. No, wait a minute. Yeah, he could they have, did. He could have come out of prison and he could have taken the path of vengeance. He did. He was violent. Instead, what are you talking about? He took the path of peace. He was violent. He took the path of reconciliation. What are you talking about? When he came out of prison, he took the path of peace. He was Pierce, violent, Pierce, right? And you called him a terrorist. Respect, the British called him a terrorist. Yeah, I, I take yeah. this <laughs> and I will think about <laughs> what you said. Mandela was pro but, but, but I will tell you. He was against but I, but I, but South Africa. But I will tell you, I will tell you. If you bring two people on to a debate and you're saying that we let you down our audience. Don't give him lessons. Don't give him lessons. Don't give him lessons. When you bring two people. He's very successful man. When you bring two people and you and you allow I'll be quiet, one, one, quiet. one to bring up Don't give them lessons. stuff that is so just embarrassing, like sex, people's sex lives. Well, you you no, I did sex. not. No, you I did not. Yes, you did. I did. No, right. sex? no? Oh, I'm proud of my books on yeah? sex, but no, this right. is a debate about you know, the Middle East. I don't East. care about your sex lives, either of you. All you right. Seem to be really interested That's in it. my mind. Uh, for me, we'll whatever you're up to. We'll talk later. Keep it uncensored. Good night. That was, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, unfortunately, nothing really to, uh, to gain from that. Shmuley. I'd never seen, uh, Shmuley talk before. I've seen him in photos. I remember I saw him in a photo with, uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Um, Hey, he's, he's, he's appears to be quite high up, um, politically, um, as far as like who he's affiliated with and his connections and all that stuff, but I've never seen him speak before. He, he talked over Muhammad Hijab a lot, but Hijab was also talking over Shmuley a lot. Yeah, I don't know. That there's there was nothing really to gain from that because it was basically like as soon as <clears throat> Hijab would make a point, Shmuley jumped in and said, "Oh, that's not true." <clears throat> and vice versa as well. When Shmuley would talk, then Hijab would jump in and say, "Oh, that's not true." And then when either one tried to give sources and it was just yelling and um like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, May God bless Piers Morgan for actually giving people a platform to talk. That seems to be, it seems like he actually has good intentions to do that. 
like I said, he does interrupt sometimes and he's clearly biased. But as all these people in Palestine are thirsty, being blown up, running out of resources, it's good that Pierce Morgan is given a platform to people that want to share the truth about what's happening. I think that's a really good thing. Unfortunately, this interview probably wasn't productive, but you know, Allah knows best. Maybe, maybe, um, people will see this and it will influence them. It will, it will change their hearts. You know, they, they will see the, they'll see the truth by watching this interview, inshallah. So that was kind of fun. That was, a, this is going to be a really long video over an hour, I guess. Um, may Allah bless you generously for watching this video with me. And inshallah, we will see you all in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.